What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD and alongside the iPhone 4S announcement, Apple made some minor tweaks to the iPod Nano as well as the iPod Touch. And when I say minor tweaks, they were exactly just that, minor tweaks. For the iPod Nano, it actually dropped 20 bucks. So the old 8 gig model that was 149 is now 129 and the 16 gigabyte model that was 179 is now 149. For the tweaks on the iPod Nano, they made the icons bigger so supposedly it's easier to navigate. Uh, and besides that, they added 16 new clock screens, which are kind of cheesy, although I do kind of dig the Mickey Mouse one because I'm a huge Disney fan. If you actually head over to Apple's site, it actually moves in real time, which is kind of cool. I'll post a link down below. Now for the iPod Touch, aside from a price drop and a new white model, they pretty much stayed exactly the same, all the exact same hardware. So we get the same 720p video recording that we did last year. It's the same crappy camera uh, as far as pictures go. It's the same processor, same graphics, so nothing new has come there. And more than likely, we will not be seeing Apple's Siri uh, voice-enabled software on the iPod Touch. Pricing is as follows. The 8 gigabyte iPod Touch in either white or black is going to run you 199 bucks. That's down from 229. The 32 gigabyte model is going to cost you 299, and the 64 gigabyte model will cost you 399 bucks. That pretty much wraps it up for the iPod announcement. There was no mention of the Shuffle or the iPod Classic. They haven't died yet. They're still on Apple's website, but there was no update to them, even if it was minor. If you missed the announcement on the iPhone 4S, go ahead and click here. Check out all the details. Other than that, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.